friends welcome back to CCSP certified channel my name is Raf and I have 14 years of industry experience as you are already aware I have recently cleared CCSP exam and decided to prepare this video series on most important topics so they can be helpful for your exam also same time I have decided to uh, start some new batches also current batch is going on 24 January onward and I will record some of the session for th from them and upload here so you can understand my teaching style I will start one weekend batch from 12th February, February onward if you are interested you can write me at ccspcertified.gmail.com to enroll for the same now we come to the topic of the day that is IAM federation part and this is topic 2 lecture 3 uh, we have covered topic 1 as encryption and we as I mentioned around 20 questions from the encryption itself uh, comes in the exam and the topic 2 is IAM around 12 to 15 questions from IAM and this is the third lecture federation Apple, around couple of questions you can expect from the federation itself so we'll do a quick recap then we come to the topic of the day so we have seen authentication and it has a three parameters something you know something you have and something you are to decide on authentication part we have seen the single sign-on single credential can be used to access multiple application either it can be enterprise SSO or can be a federation identity management firm now we have seen the firm also firm has a multiple SAML, OAuth, OIDC, WS federation examples of the firm it can be service provider initiated identity provider initiated but there are two parties service provider and identity provider who are in the circle of trust and uh, you know, and they they do either do the cross certification or the web of trust or proxy we'll see how this is uh, and uh, all the email images I will use will be from the image for the education purpose we claim no copyright for them so this was we have covered so far in the last lecture we have seen that there will be identity provider who will do the authentication and relying, relying party do the authorization they do not do the authentication so do the difference identity provider do the authentication and issue the token relying party provide services they do not authenticate the user but they do authorize now we come to SAML we have seen that uh, for federation there are three protocols one is SAML one is OAuth one is OIDC SAML is uh, quite old uh, XML base pro, uh, uh, make, uh, tool and that is industry known and accepted and uh, a user uh, can perform a single sign on between different web applications we have SAML with the help of SAML but it lacks the support for mobile and IoT services that's why uh, it has now been uh, it has given the birth for it, it has given the space for the new protocols OAuth and OIDC that we will see in the following slide but in SAML there is a identity provider service provider they exchange metadata file that is a XML based file to establish trust and the configuration and post that identity provider do the authentication and generate a SAML response that is being consumed by the service provider now we come to OAuth OAuth is stand for it, uh, OAuth uh, 2.0 is currently industry standard protocol that is for authorization so it is not a authentication protocol SAML is a authentication protocol OAuth is authorization protocol OAuth 2.0 is a superset of the OAuth protocol that uh, came in the picture in 2006 now it provides the temporary resource access to the third party application on a legitimate, legitimate user behalf so first thing it is a not a permanent access it is a temporary access it is sort of authorization protocol and third party application can work or access resources on behalf of the user the good example is let's say one photo printing mobile application we call as a consumer or consumer that uh, uh, that allow user to import photos from their Facebook account those are OAuth provider which send a temporary access token or key to the photo printing app that expire after some time so when photo printing app want to print your photos either you upload all your photos to the printing apps or you can you can uh, allow your Facebook to share some of the photos you select to the photo printing app so photo printing apps will have access of those photos till 
a certain time they print and the exos will get revoked so in that case you don't need to download and upload photos again oath will help you in granting those access so oath are temporary access it is a authorization protocol third party application can work or can access resources on behalf of the user hope it is clear now we come to oidc so oidc is is a oath plus authentication because in oath there was no authentication mechanism defined so oath never speak how the authentication will happen how this legitimate user authentication will happen so for this oath uh, has a super uh, uh, one more solution build over oath that is open id connect now open <coughs> id connect build on oath to improve the identity management interoperability and the to develop the support mobile applications the the goal of the open id connect is to allow an end users to log in in once and access multiple desperate resources on and off the web so one example is social login so if you might have seen that facebook google microsoft others when you when you use open id they do get a options to uh, when you go to a website you do get option to log in via facebook log in via google uh, or log in directly and that on the this social logging is only possible because of the open id so you rather than create an account you can always use the uh, services provided by facebook others or google's <coughs> for login so same like photo sharing mobile application that uh, want to post or want to view the photos of the logged in user they can use google or facebook uh, uh, based authentications to verify the identity of the user and then can post and can access the resources so open id is uh, oath plus uh, uh, authentication uh, that is open id now we quickly see one picture that will be more clear uh, give you the more clear idea and this is a better one to remember so saml 2.0 oath and open id connect so it is uh, it is open standard for both authentication and authorization oath is only for authorization open id is for authentication it is was developed by oasis in 2001 it came and developed by twitter and google in 2006 and open id is more recent 2014 onward it is being used primary use case for single sign on for enterprise application this we have seen the authorization api authorization temporary access is oath and SSO for consumer application the format is support saml it support json and json and as i mentioned all the images i will use that has a copyright claim uh, associated with their their owner we don't claim anything associated with those images now the last concept uh, on this example is ws federation that is a web based uh, web service based federation that's quite old and quite legacy system and we do have an identity federation uh, system here we do have a set realm where we define the uh, collection or the policies and here the relying party is called as a resource provider and we do have an identity provider so w federation in the microsoft world like active directory adfs azure they mainly use microsoft mainly use a, a ws federation for their application though it is supported by many other uh, vendors also and uh, saml use case also applies along with this ws federation so like microsoft web application like sharepoint azure or dynamic crm usually have their native support for ws federation while other says provider support saml or open id connect now we have seen the <coughs> multiple type of the uh, uh, federation so we have seen the cross certification we also that is also known as web of trust here in the web of trust each party uh, uh, then each party cross verify other party and then uh, in this case all the organizations in the federation can accept the uh, credentials so all the parties can work as identity provider all the parties can work as service providers so all the participant organization are identity providers each organization will assign identity credential to its own authorized user and all other uh, organization in the federation will accept those credentials so there is no fixed identity provider or service provider in the web of trust of the cross certification they will certify each other and each can work as an identity provider in case of proxy there is a third party who work as an identity provider all the remaining party work as an access or service provider so we'll see a few questions here uh, those are the exam questions or the ccsp guide question 
uh, those related to the federation concept or this uh, theory that we have covered today the first one is the most prevailing protocol used in the identity federation so we have seen that we do have a SAML, oath oidc and ws federation so http and ftp are the options which is already ruled out because we haven't seen those option as a uh, 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 option in our ws federation now we are we are come with the SAML and ws federation so we have seen SAML is most widely used accepted and the ws federation is quite all accepted only few organizations so the option is answer is a stable now we go to the next question a group of clinic decided to create a identity federation for their user like med medical providers and clinics if they opt to review each others for compliance with the security governance and standard they all find acceptable what is federation model called okay so this we have seen that when there are two uh, federation model we have seen one is the cross certification that's also known as a web of trust one is proxy so this is not a single sign on not a federation model regulated is not a federation model so we do have two option after this proxy is third party who work as a identity provider there is no third party involved in this question so it is a cross certification example <clears throat> now come to the next question federation allow across organizations so within two organizations there is a federation test established the so what federation allows do it allow role application do it allow encryption do it allow policy do, do it allow access so as we have seen this in federation there is an identity can be federated but we haven't seen the role application concept here because authorization namely being taken care by the uh, service provider there is no need of a role application same way encryption is not uh, is, is is a federation uh, allows neither policy synchronization but it allows access so in federation user can access multiple uh, resources across the organizations all the following are the identity federation standard commonly found in use today except so we so which is the commonly used accepted uh, federation uh, standards so we have seen the ws federation we have seen open id we have seen oath but we haven't seen pgp and there's something the answer for this question because there's the odd one out and uh, there's more a destructive for this in this case the last one in this one which of the following is a federation standard protocol that does not rely on soap based or SAML based or XML based so that we have seen that XML based is uh, XML based is SAML uh, that is we already have seen or soap based so WS federation is a soap based uh, that we have seen uh, so we have seen that that uh, uh, SAML is a XML based, uh, then uh, Open and OAuth and OIDC JSON based, and WS Federation is SOAP based. We uh, and it is asking that which is not based on this. Then there is no protocol known as a SOAP to square. It is a report actually. Same way OWSP is an organization. It is not a protocol. So we have left with the Open ID which is JSON based. So when this type of question comes there are a couple of distractors in the in the in the answers so first roll out them then you will left with the only uh, options which are possible options then you eliminate them based on the your knowledge so if they are asking if it's not a soap base ws federation has gone if SAML was one of the option then it would have gone if it is not xml based if it is a json based they were asking to roll out open id or to drive would have also gone but it it is they ask they haven't given the json then open id is the answer so this for today thank you for watching my video like my video subscribe my video i will upload uh, classroom videos soon thank you